We're in the beautiful forest of northern Michigan. This massive beast behind me is known as Margaritaville by us. I'm Mike. I'm going to show you under the hood. And I'm Dawn, and I'm going to show you the inside. This is Random Bits RV. All right, so this is our 2013 Thor Tuscany Model 40 DX. It's a 40-foot diesel pusher, which translates to the big engine is in the back, the generator is in the front. And that's a common configuration for all diesel pushers. Uh, take a look underneath the hood. We have an 8,000 watt Cummins Onan diesel power generator. Draws the fuel off the exact same tank that the engine does. The first cabinet, although I'm able to repurpose it for some toolboxes and other essentials that I need on the road, uh, this is an electronic cabinet for the actual uh, compartment, the electronics for the rig. Moving back, this compartment here goes about that far back, but we keep in here our little red smoker and all my barbecue cooking supplies. This next compartment, this one goes all the way through, complete pass-through. Uh, this is on a uh, Freightliner raised rail chassis. So what that means is that it gives us a little bit more storage space where the rail is not necessarily in the way. Been a while since I tidied my cabinets, but it is what it is. <laughs> this is half of a pass-through. The other side of that cabinet is where I keep our portable uh, gray tank storage called a Blue Boy. This is the wet bay. This is where the water comes in. This is where the uh, waste comes out. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty standard. This compartment houses our two starting batteries for the diesel chassis, and then four AGM batteries that are on a slide out tray. Those run the house. Uh, those batteries tie into our 2000 watt inverter, and that inverter will run all of the outlets in the coach, all of the lights in the coach, as well as the refrigerator. Uh, any big draw electrical items like the air conditioners, the dryer, the washing machine, they run off the generator. They won't run off the inverter. Last but not least, this is where the power cabinet comes in. Uh, I keep a couple extra bottles of uh, coolant just in case. I keep some spare parts in here. And then when we're not towing the car or the truck, I keep our towing accessories in there. On the back side of the rig, we use a Ready Brute tow bar with the integrated Ready Brake system. The 40-foot Tuscany Model 40 FX does feature a 380-horse Cummings turbo diesel engine. And while it, uh, let's put it this way, it does the job what we need. I'd always like a few more horses underneath the hood, but it gets us up the mountains just fine. This is all the electronics for the diesel engine as well as the 2000 watt inverter. Now, I've got a couple of my uh, power tools back there, uh, so I repurpose safely a little extra space when I can get it. Moving forward, this is our 15 gallon DEF or diesel exhaust fluid tank. Uh, the diesel exhaust system caused us a failure our first day out on the road. However, all things considered, it does its job. Moving forward, this compartment is nothing more than our fresh water tank. And uh, it does give me access to a gravity fill on this side of the tank. The other compartments are nothing more than the identical storage of what you saw on the other side. So a full pass-through storage here, full pass-through storage here, and then a partial uh, storage compartment uh, moving forward. Got my man cave. Got my television out here. You see the ultra level, that is the jacks for the automatic leveling jacks that helps deploy and retract the jacks. And we can go in an auto mode as well as a, uh, as well as a manual mode as well. Moving ahead of that is the Allison transmission gear shift selector. Uh, it tells you what gear the motorhome is in and you can also manual override and manually select the gears that you need. Uh, moving right along is the mirror adjustment for the outside mirrors along with mirror heat. Now, the uh, you can see that or not, the switch, uh, switch panel here uh, gives, gives me switches for the aisle light, for the uh, uh, highway flashers, the air horn, the dash fan, the diesel exhaust brake, the auxiliary starter, which basically connects my two batteries outside together if one of the batteries goes dead. 
as well as the dock lights for backing up when you're uh, pulling into campground at night, and then a service light for underneath the hood. The instrument cluster is going to be typical of a diesel pusher, which basically gives you a speedometer, fuel gauge, uh, tack, and over here we get air pressure, oil pressure, and transmission temperature. The last panel over here on the right uh, includes the generator start stop, my nightshade, sunshade, as well as the climate control. Well, now that Mike is done with the outside of the rig, and he's probably going to have to do a couple of the technical areas inside also, I'm going to show you the inside. So welcome to Margie. Make yourself at home. Okay. Inside, we have storage up above the cockpit. That's where we leave stuff that we need when we're traveling or we might need in an emergency. Any kind of papers, the dog paperwork, first aid kit, flashlights, um, anything you can think of that you may need in a moment's notice. It's all above here in the cockpit in our storage areas up here. Right here we have our captain's chairs and of course they're turned around toward the front window when we're traveling so we can see out that beautiful picture window as we're going down the road. But when we're parked they turn around and they're part of the entertainment part where we can invite people in and kind of be able to look at each other when we're talking. Um, it's kind of nice. My seconds as an office chair because here is my little bitty office. I call it the den of procrastination. And right here is our dinette area which is now Mike's office and I'm sure he'll kind of pan around it but he will be doing a future video of how he set that up and the different things that he did to make it work for us both when we're moving and when we're not. And this begins our kitchen area. I have a pantry here that has shelving, shelving that has shelving in it, which holds our canned goods, our dry goods, anything else. It's untidy at the moment, but it's all right there. We also have a residential fridge, just like anybody would have in their home. The double doors with the shelving, lots of room for fruits, vegetables, all kinds of healthy stuff. We have the freezer, um, which also keeps track of our frozen foods and. We have plenty of counter space. I am a big one at pre-prep, so a lot of my stuff is done before I start to cook, so it's all easy, it's there. I have three gas burners. I would show you underneath, but right now the Instapot is cooking supper. Um, I have a convection oven microwave, which took me a little bit to get used to, but now that I am used to it, I absolutely love it. I could not go back to a conventional at the moment. Um, we do not have a dishwasher. I opted not for a dishwasher because I wanted the storage space. So all of my spices are all handily located down there when we're cooking. This is Lexi. She is 110 toddler. She is a bull mastiff, but she absolutely loves the travel life. She's a great travel dog. She's a wonderful companion. Um, she loves to watch the open road when Mike is driving. I think I can even insert a, paper, uh, a picture here. Yeah. And I'll, here is her feeding station. It's lifted up. We store her food underneath. So she has a good healthy height to eat and it's food storage. Yeah. Above the food and water station for the dog, we have a fireplace. And the fireplace does emit heat. It's an electric fireplace. Uh, a lot of times in the winter we just have that on and it provides plenty of heat to keep us warm. We have the TV. It's a smart TV. It shows. And here is our L-shaped sofa. A lot of people love these. We can't stand it. So we're probably going to be stopping in Indiana. We're probably going to get a couch with the double recliners just to, uh, for a little more comfort here. This is not a comfortable unit at all. And right here we have our half bath. This is the bathroom that is accessible while we're traveling. Okay. Along the wall we have storage areas also. Um, those covers are pretty deep and they hold a lot of things that we are utilizing at the moment. And we also have storage here. This is where I keep my Instapot. Kind of the cocktails <laughs> and we have some pans and things in here that we keep here I um, do crafts and stuff so I have some of my crafts in here and so it holds a lot of stuff we really have a lot of storage and I really can't complain and this is my washer and dryer absolutely love them 
Um, I use those quite a bit unless we're boondocking or we're somewhere where we're trying to conserve. And of course I don't do them, I don't do laundry as often. In here is our bedroom. We have a King Tempur-Pedic. Um, I have found that the easiest way to make it because of the end tables that are on either side is to pull this down and then put our pretty pillows back in the back. Um, fairly easy, quick in the morning, comfortable, love it. We have storage up above the bed. That's where we usually keep our off season clothes. Um, so when the season comes up, like winter, we'll pull them down and we'll switch over. There's cupboard space up above here. There's counter space along here, along with more drawers. We call the master bathroom. We have the walk-in shower. It's got a seat on the inside. Closets are along the wall. There, that's where we put our hang up clothing. We know that your time is valuable, so it's an honor to have you along for the tour of our home. If you have any questions for us, please jot them down in the comment section below the video. Um, if you enjoyed it, we love the thumbs up. If you subscribe, that makes us happy. We are Mike and Dawn with Random Bits RV, and we'll see you on the road. Here, pull my neck.